What's up everyone? Welcome to a brand new review. Today I'm discussing The Strangers Pray at Night. Yes, this is the semi-sequel to The Strangers and absolutely a cash grab. You heard it, it's a cash grab. <laughs> Um, I didn't particularly like this film. Uh, there's aspects I did like about it, and I'll get into those, but the more I've, me and my friend came out of the movie sitting there, talking about it, discussing it more, I came to the conclusion that I really hated this film. Don't get me wrong, like I said, there's aspects about this film that I liked that if they would have taken it in those directions, I probably would have liked it more. Should I just pray at night? I, I went in this film wanting a cool throwback to the old horror slasher thriller flicks like Friday the 13th and something like that because the first film I didn't expect it to be the first film was really much a thriller it had some good scares in it but and it did turn into a generic horror film towards the end of the film the thing with this film is I was like yeah it's not gonna probably do any of those unique scares but what it probably will do is give me some fun throwback to the old Friday the 13th kind of slasher flicks. Honestly, it does. The film does do some aspects like that. But the thing that weighs this film down is, one, you can just tell that like they didn't know what to do with this runtime. This story, the concept's really cool because it's about a family going to a, an abandoned trailer park to stay there. Well, it's not abandoned, but it's like no one's really staying there right now. Their grandparents own it. And it turns out um they're just there at the wrong time, the wrong place. And let me just start off with... The characters in here are so bad that you don't care about any of them. You you don't. You 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 really don't. Um, the mom in here especially is horrible. Ah, I I don't know if it's just the dialogue or the way she was acting, but I've seen better dialogue and better acting in porn. That's the thing about this film. I get it. It was trying to go to her a throwback, but it's not completely that throwback because it's also trying to take it seriously. But the, I think the one thing that really bothered me about this film wasn't that it was just felt generic at times, and it wasn't just like it, it was trying to be a throwback, but it was trying to invent something, do something new. No, it, the thing about this is that the camera, the way the film was shot, is so bad it started giving me a headache. To be honest, I'm not joking. Like if you see this film. It'll like zoom in and it'll zoom out. It'll zoom in really slowly and zoom out. And it'll like do this. It'll pan to like scenery. It'll, the screen will be really fuzzy at times where it's trying to make something like something's behind them. But realistically, like me and my friend both got out and we both had the same thing is that like when it's trying to do that, it's cool because when the first film did that, there was actually something behind them. In this film, I think there's like only like two or three times where there's something actually behind them. Majority of the time, it's just fuzzy to be fuzzy. And there's some camera angles in here that are like, why? Why? Put it this way, this film really feels like a first-time student filmmaker who has never filmed anything in his life picked up a camera and said, I'm gonna make a horror film. I'm gonna put a bunch of kind of scenes where I'm just filming this mist go around the trailer park and stuff because I have nothing else because the runtime is only around 40 minutes, so I gotta put like 20 minutes of this mist of going around to fill in that hour and 20 minute runtime. I hate how, just in general, some of the scares were just generic. The kills were generic. It wasn't anything, bam, just n noticeable. But I will say there are a couple good crowd pleasing moments in here where the crowd was cheering, where I was even cheering too, where it got me hyped in here because a lot of the characters do dumb things in here, but when they do smart things, you're like, Hell yes. It's effective on that throwback terms when it's not trying to be do something else or just kind of be generic and not do anything new. It does work on those levels when it is those old slasher flicks. Yes, this film can be totally unrealistic at times, but that's how those old generic slasher flicks were. And those were the parts that I actually enjoyed, which led to the crowd pleasing moments. There is one particular scene. The way it was shot was actually really well done. And I wish the rest of the film would have had this vibe to it. It kind of... Like, it was very neonish. It was by a pool. You've probably seen it on the poster and in the trailers, but that's something that really was very nice to see. It was my favorite scene of the whole film, and there I don't have one single complaint about that whole scene. In that scene, it really felt like a throwback. It felt fun, and that's what I hoped this film would give me, and it didn't. It didn't deliver on the scares. With There actually were some two really good jump scares, but besides that, the scares weren't there. You knew when they were going to happen. The film's not thrilling, it's it just very generic to say the least. I love this concept of The Strangers. It really takes away a lot of the mystery behind the first film. Because you never see their face, and spoilers, you do in here. And it doesn't work, especially one of the scenes, it does not work. Why not, you might ask. Well, that line, why not, if you see the film, you know what I'm talking about. Well, I didn't totally hate this film like i hated aspects of it 
I wasn't disappointed because I didn't have a lot of hope for it. I wanted to have fun. I found some fun, crowd-pleasing moments in here. I found some cool visual flares in here. But overall, the way the film was just directed and the camera angles and just the way it looked, it looked like something off sci-fi. The dialogue was bad. The acting was atrocious. It had a couple unique scares, but overall, the film was just dragging on. And I felt like they did not know what to do with this film. I felt like this is a total cash grab. I don't recommend The Strangers Pray at Night at all. With all that said, I'm going to give The Strangers Pray at Night a D+. Like I said, the crowd-pleasing moments really made up for what the film was. It got entertaining towards the end of the film. And it really, towards the end of the film, totally started throwing back to the old Friday the 13th. And I wish the whole film would have had that. I wish it wasn't just focusing on a family. I think if The Strangers Pray at Night really focused on a group of friends or like camp people or just people in general more than just a family it would have worked more on a level of just having four people because it doesn't really work the four people if you're just trying to be a slasher flick if you're like the first film and you're trying to just do two people then it more works in that aspect but overall eh. <laughs> tell me what did you guys think about the strangers the first one and this one are you excited to see this one do you like the first one i'm curious to hear what your guys thoughts are sure of course guys hit that like button and subscribe because that's what's really important here is talking with you guys about movies because that's what we do over on my channel and also down below at sandwich john films where if you guys don't know what this website is about it gives out advanced screenings it delivers movie news and cool movie events coming up like the oasis for ready player one of course if you guys do want to talk more movies make sure to hit up all my social media links i'll leave them right down below there so you guys can go check us out over on stardust instagram twitter wherever you guys want to find it i usually post some of my new like my reactions straight coming out of a movie and sometimes they're funny and sometimes they're not and sometimes it's just me other than that guys you guys are all the best you guys make sure to stay classy